Uh, Ryan Payne is with us this morning, sitting right next to me. You say, and this is intriguing, I read your stuff, you know I do. You said there's uh, plenty of signs of a healthy economy just ahead. That's new. Tell me. That's new, and I think that's what the market's not selling off today because they knew I was going to be optimistic on your show, show today, Stuart. <laughs> Get out uh, of here. Monocruise and market. <laughs> you Let's do stop. not move the market. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind. Uh, but no, I think we have to look at last week is we got a lot of the bad news, and it kind of covered a lot of the good news. Um, if you know, talk about inflation, we know inflation came in higher than expected. But if you look at the producer's price index, that's wholesale inflation. That's what companies pay. Hmm. That actually came down. That actually slowed quite a bit. Um, and in addition to that, retail sales, which to me is like, look, the consumer runs America, right? If the consumer spending, America is in good shape. Consumer spending was up for last month, even with this record high inflation, which goes against every narrative that the consumer is not going to keep up with inflation. Okay, look, th this week we're going to find out how high the, the Fed is going to ra raise rates. 75 basis points or 100 basis points. There's talk that it could be 100 basis points. That would not help the market, would it? No, because, well, I think it would because I think it's priced in. If you look at the one-year Treasury now, it's at 4%. Yes, it is. Think about we're getting your money market fund, probably nothing. A 1%, you know, 4% on a Treasury pretty much is pricing in what the Fed's going to do the rest of the year on the most hawkish, most aggressive schedule you could possibly imagine. So credit markets have already adjusted. Markets are forward-looking. It's done. If they do 0.75% or 1%, Markets are already factoring it all So in. this selling that we're seeing today is short-term, short-lived. We're not going to be testing June's lows. We're not going to do that? I don't have a crystal ball, but if I was a betting man, I'd probably say we probably don't retest the lows. We could do it, but I think the reality of it is you have more risk missing upside than downside here because of so much news being priced in. I'm telling you, Ryan, you should buy a one-year treasury, hold it to maturity, and milk your 4% yield. Now, what is wrong with that? Not bad, but, you know, dividend-paying stocks to increase over time. Don't okay. be afraid. You got it, Ryan. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> Ryan Payne, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Uh, look